video is gonna be a little bit different. Recently, one of my favorite contemporary artists, uh, Glander Co. on Instagram, or Julian Glander is his actual name, has released a video game called Art School, and it's basically like an art school simulator that is very aesthetic. So I'm just gonna be showing the game to you guys. It's only like $12, so I definitely recommend picking it up on Steam if you are into video games and aesthetics. <laughs> Let's cut to some game footage, shall we? So we just kind of hit enter through this screen and it talks at us. Hello, Froshman. Welcome to art school. I just um really like Glender and Co's um music in general. So ah, it's gonna start us right by a color swatch. Froshman got a color swatch. Alright, so um you have to go around and find your brushes and your colors that you can use. You can't you don't just start the game with them. But um with the way that this game is designed, they're honestly, they just kind of blend in with the surroundings that you're in. So we're gonna go around and find as many as we can. Oh, it looks like there's one right up here. This, uh, the mop. The mop is honestly my favorite tool in this game. Got the eraser. There's like a little squiggly tool over here too. Top head. Oh, hello. <laughs> you can also fly, which is helpful, I guess. Ooh, what's this? The Greeks pencil. Yes. Oh, it's like a little, like a little movie theater. <laughs> um, it came out about a month ago. It's only $11.99 on Steam, so I don't know why you would pass on this aesthetic experience. Here's a swatch and another brush, square brush. Cool. Got a color swatch. So we have four colors now. We don't have like, like they're all purple and blue. I want some more colors. It looks like there's white over here. Oop, the text tool's over here. I can see the little A. I like the text tool. It's one of my favorite tools. I love slapping words on paintings. It's one of my favorite things. I actually got in trouble in a real art class once for putting text on a painting. Like my professor scolded me. Well, my, my teacher, it was still in high school. My high school teacher like scolded me. It was like, we don't put words on paintings. The wiggle pencil. I honestly don't know how I feel about the wiggle pencil. <laughs> okay, we have another color. So we have six colors. We're gonna go ahead and start drawing here now. Alright. So draw a bad idea. I'm gonna make a little background here real quick. Elder purple, get him in there as well. swatches but I do need to find five more brushes. <clears throat> the cooler brushes are the ones I still have to find. 
draw one of the massive, extremely expensive sculptures. Sculptures that dot the art school campus. So we need to find a sculpture and draw it. Ooh, this wiggly boy is cool. Let's draw this wiggly boy. Yeah. This wiggly boy. So he's blue. And then he's on kind of a little platform. We'll use the square brush to draw his platform. Okay, now he has some eyes. We should give him like Rick and Morty eyes. We'll draw the circle bit. Circle bit. And this is like the perfect brush for like Rick and Morty style eyes. Yeah, squiggly pasta boy. Okay, now we're gonna we're going to ground him and show that he is on a ground. Yeah, there we go. He's on a ground. Yes. All right, let's turn this pupper in. I think it's because I got so many brushes this early on. Draw an extremely technical patent diagram of an air conditioner. What would an air conditioner look like on this world? That's what I want to know. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what a patent diagram of an air conditioner would look like. But I know that blueprints are like blue, so. And then everything on them should be like white. So. There, that's an air conditioner, right? And then I assume it's got like some stuff inside. Right? That looks like a blueprint. <laughs> Another A. Awesome. Draw something from your personal history. My personal history or Froshman's personal history? Because I don't know. I mean, we both have glasses, but like, when would I wear this outfit? That's the real question. A C. I was clearly putting my heart on the line here, and they give me a C. Oh no, at least they're not making me take it. Draw the upside down house on the art school campus. What is the upside down house? Look like? Oh, I'm guessing this is the upside down house. Yeah, those, those lines are coming out at the same angle. Absolutely. Ooh. Let's turn this in at the upside down house so that they can really compare how terrible this looks. <laughs> On A! Alright. Draw a like, I don't know, a horse, draw a horse, LMA. That, that's totally something that like an art teacher would tell you. That's something an art teacher would say to you. Here's the body of our horse. And he's got legs. This looks like a weird dog, but he's got this beautiful blowing mane. That's how you know he's a horse. See, totally reads as a horse now. That's the difference between a dog and a horse, right? Okay. <laughs> Draw ingredients. Ingredients for what? 
Ingredients for what? Ooh, there's brush. I found the thick brush. She's thick. Is this something? Is this something? Oh my god, yes, I found the rainbow pencil. That's what I've been wanting this whole time. Um, ingredients. I love the sound this brush makes. Ooh, a bee. <laughs> Look at the ground, then up at the spot, the sky, and split the difference, and split it again, and draw what you see. What? <laughs> um, so the thing about the ground and the sky here is that it looks like that. So... I'm gonna interpret splitting the difference by drawing four panels. Four panels. We're gonna have the ground be in these two. Which, I know this looks like the sky, but it's the ground. It looks like the overall color is this light, this lightness, right? So we're gonna lightness it's light pink I mean and then we're just gonna make some like pixels we'll just go crazy with the pixels oh is this the upside down house I don't know well they kind of all look like upside down houses <laughs> We want an aim. Yeah, this is the game. This is what you do in the game. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end this here because it seems like a good place to end. Very arbitrary. Just like the rest of the game. And I think I will pass this off to Catherine from the future. So I'll see you guys later. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it uh, got you interested in the game. Uh, this is not sponsored at all. I just really like the game and this artist. So, yeah. Um, I hope everybody has a good day and I will see you all next time. Bye!